I checked in at reception, absolutely fine on the diabetic unit. Um, and I know them all on there, they, they, they're great. Um, got my weighing done, my blood pressure, all that kind of thing. And then, then sat down to wait. And as I was doing so, I was just chatting to my diabetes nurse specialist, Sandra. Hey, Sandra, on Facebook. Um, and I asked her about the buses and whether all of them from the hospital go into the interchange. And she said to ask Donna. So, of course, I did. Um, and Donna was just amazing. She actually showed me where to go to get onto the bus and everything. So that was cool. Um, the consultant was just brilliant she actually mentioned my eyes to me um and it was really nice that she was going through everything and telling me about all the sports that, that's available um but i explained that i was all already getting that and felt extremely supported um so it's just nice to know that everywhere you go um the medical profession seem to so far um be really really helpful and positive about it Anyway, that, that was that was all finished, and then I went for my bus. Um, and to be honest with you, it was so much easier than I thought. As I got to the bus stop, the bus was was pulling in already. Um, so I got, I got on there, showed the driver my pass, um, and he told me where where to where to put it. Um, and and then I I sat down got to the interchange absolutely fine and that's where there was a little bit of a problem really i got off the bus at the interchange and i had my cane with me um and decided to use that which, which was which was fine found the information office and when i got there i just said that i wanted to get the number 625 or 626 to bailed and can you just tell me what stand that's on please so he told me that there wasn't a 625, but there's a 626, and said, is it Bailden that you want? And I said, yes. So he said, oh, it's B. So I said, right, okay, can you can you tell me where that is, please? Well, it's before A, mate. And, and so I thought, well, actually, it's after A, but never mind. And I said, well, is that on this floor, or is it downstairs? And he went, no, it's B, mate. And I said, I said, yes, I know, I, I heard you say it, it's B. And he said, well, it's it's over there. So I said, right, okay, okay, thank you very much. Um, and as I was walking away, there was a um, West Yorkshire police man there. Um, and he just said to me, do you, want, do you want some help? So that that was amazing. So I said, yeah, that'd be great, thank you. So I sort of just took his arm so, so that I... I I could walk safely without having to use my cane. And um, he was chatting away with me, just saying that he can't believe that he was just not prepared to give me an help at all. And, and I'm glad that he was there to listen, really, because um, that was quite disappointing. Um, but anyway, he was great. We were chatting all the way, and then he, he took me to the, to the right stand. I sat down on some chairs there, and he told me that it was going to be another 15 minutes to check the board. Um, and actually he came back 12 minutes later just to make sure that was okay. Um, and I said, yeah, absolutely fine. That, that's brilliant. Thank you. A bus pulled in then, but I couldn't actually see whether it was the right one or not. So there was a guy walking past me and at that point I had my cane out. So I just said, excuse me, can you tell me whether that's 626? And he was brilliant. He went to check and he went, it is. Yeah. Do, do you need a hand? And, and I didn't, I was absolutely fine. So I got on the bus um, and it was good. It was absolutely fine. I felt really comfortable. The pass worked perfectly well. Nobody really batted an eyelid until I sat down and I thought, you know what, I've done really well, I'll have a drink. And there was this lady at the side of me. So I got the drink out of my bag, opened it. And of course, because of all the walking and everything I've been doing, it was sparkling water, so when I opened it, it went absolutely everywhere. So I got soaked, and so did she. Um, but before I really had a chance to say sorry, she just sort of oomphed, stood up, and walked to another seat. Um, but I did say sorry, but she didn't really listen. Um, and then I was on my phone on Facebook, and there were these two kids at the side, and so. Sort of, 
I have got vision and I can see okay, not brilliantly, but I can see okay, as long as there's light, I'm reasonably all right. And they were kind of like whispering and, and pointing and saying that he's on his phone, he's on his phone and look at him. Um, but, my, but my phone, I have to hold really, really close. So to see my phone or anything, I, I, I have it up to my face. And, and that just made me realise that people probably think that if you've got a white cane, that you are totally, totally blind. Um, and it's just not true. Um, but anyway, that, that was that. I asked the guy if on, on the bus, the bus driver, if he would tell me when I got to where I needed to be. And, and he said, no, no problems. Didn't actually go where I needed to be. Um, but it went somewhere close. So that, so that was fine. And that's it really. It was just so much easier than I thought. And, and kind of, I'm glad that I decided to do it because I was panicking about it. And it's now empowered me to not worry so much about going somewhere else on my own. I think if Dean had been available to take me in the car, then I would have absolutely gone with the car and I, I would have just pushed the bus out of my mind. So it's quite good actually that you're forced into these situations because it makes you do it and it makes you tackle it. Um, I have to say it was nowhere near as daunting as I thought it would be and in general people were absolutely brilliant. So that's all I wanted to say really. Um, my first bus ride and it was great. So thanks to Sandra and thanks to Donna at the Bradford Royal Infirmary. You were amazing and I couldn't have done it without your help. But thank you very much. And I hope everybody's had a good day and I will post shortly with whatever happens next. Take care. Bye.